Where Victorians were once laid to rest, London City Cemetery is digging new graves. A law unique to London allows graves more than 75 years old to be reused. What little remains of people buried there is placed in new containers and moved to a collective grave nearby. To some people, the reuse of graves is a drastic step. Local authorities acknowledge that it can be an emotive issue, prompting public disquiet and even sometimes distaste. But experts warn that the country faces a looming crisis in the disposal of bodies and that it faces the prospect of simply running out of space to bury the dead. Uh, a serious situation that really needs tackling now. Uh, it's been around for a long time, the, the knowledge of this problem, and government inaction over the last couple of decades has just led us further towards a looming crisis in our burial grounds. There we are, three chicken breasts. Winston Hagstons lived in Market Wheaton in East Yorkshire all his life. He wants to be buried there with generations of his family in the town cemetery. But, like others across the country, the cemetery is full. Mr Hagston might have to settle for a plot 20 miles away in Hull. I'm a Market Wheaton person. I'd like to be buried in Market Wheaton. I find it very frustrating that the local powers that be, the local authorities, haven't found another suitable plot, and I don't see why I should be taken elsewhere to be buried. I want to be buried in Market Wheaton. For centuries, space in British churchyards was continually reused, but with Victorian cemeteries came the practice of burying bodies deep down in permanent graves. A lot of other Victorians were saying, we shouldn't be doing it this way. This is not sustainable, this isn't going to work. Um, but the practice sort of like carried through, and that's kind of what we're stuck with now. And it's really time to go back and reconsider that. The government says changing the use of graves is a sensitive issue, one it has under constant review. Cemetery managers say only reusing graves can provide a long-term solution to a critical shortage of space. Robert Piggott, BBC News, Newham in London.